Alright guys, um, I'm sorry for not making many videos over the summer. Uh, it seems like when I have a lot of time to do things, that's when I do the least. I don't really know what happened. Like, I would have done something more, but I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't really use the excuse that I've been busy because I kind of have, kind of haven't. Uh, but anyways, uh, this video though, I feel like... Uh, I should make something for this program that I made in Java uh, over the past month. Uh, so uh, basically I created, uh, out of suggestions on the forum, uh, a mod loader for Amnesia. So basically if you are making a full conversion mod or you are uh, playing a lot of them, if you download a lot of full conversion mods, you can download this program and it would easily uh, allow you to launch it without having to go into the different folders and uh, clicking launch on the bat file or whatever. Um, and uh, since it is written in Java, it is platform independent, although I did make it more dependent. Uh, so right now I only have a fully wor working uh, Windows version, uh, but I will release uh, for Mac and Linux uh, as I go. And right now it's also very early development. Uh, so um, although I have had it out for testing quite a bit, uh, it may have some issues. So if, <laughs> if you find anything, I would like it uh, if you reported it, that would be nice. Um, but anyways, uh, I'll, I'll show you the thread that I made for it, which is over here. Uh, basically, it tells you everything you need to know about it. Uh, here's a preview of how it looks. And uh, here it tells you the requirements, and you can download it right here. Uh, for example, direct Dropbox uh, or Mediafire, should it be down or something? I don't know, I just like having a backup. And uh, yeah, it's a zip file, uh, but it comes with... Uh, it comes with um, this exe file, which, uh, as I said, it is only for Windows at the moment, but I will release uh, other versions later, or extracted it there. And uh, when you double-click it for the first time, open it up, uh, it will give you some of the settings that you can do. Uh, basically, it will say that this is the first time, and you want to uh, use some of these settings. Uh, first of all, if you're using Steam, you want to check off Steam. I use Steam. Uh, I had the Steam copy. This is because there's a slight difference to how you launch mods uh, with Steam or without Steam. So you want to make sure that this matches your wor your version of the game. Uh, and if you do have it on Steam, you need to point to your Steam directory. Not the game directory, but the Steam itself. Uh, so mine should be in Program Files 86 uh, Steam. Like that. And uh, yours might be the same, or it might be similar, it might be program files slash theme, uh, or it might be a custom location. Uh, this is because when you're launching games through Steam, you basically need to pass through the uh, launch arguments to Steam itself. Um, so basically that's it for the Steam, and then you want to select what mod directory you're searching through. Uh, basically this means that um, like the mod, the, the program isn't going to look through your entire hard drive for mods, uh, so it's restricted to uh, a folder you select and its subfolders. So if I, for example, select where my Amnesia game is, which is on my uh, external drive, uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Amnesia. If I select that folder on its own, uh, it will only find mods that I have placed inside that folder itself. And here's just some about information. Uh, and then once you click OK on that, uh, it will start up the mod loader itself. And uh, uh, every time you start it up after this, it will uh, already go to this uh, phase right away. Uh, so as you can see, right now I have uh, four mods listed here the, that are found in the Amnesia the Dark Descent uh, directory. And uh, the first one is not actually a mod, it's the main game itself, because it does uh, find the main game as well, because it is technically considered a mod, because a full conversion mod is basically an identical copy of the main game. Um, so they, they look the same, so it finds the main game as well. And you can start it up, so if you only use this uh, program from your desktop, for example, you can use it to start uh, the normal game. Uh, just the same, although it's probably faster to just open up Amnesia right there anyways uh, If you're just gonna play the normal game, but this is of course meant for mods So for example, we have this mod and then I have uh, some example mods here uh, I'm unsure if this one is actually working. It was just a test uh, mod that I did uh, But as you can see this is the mod loader itself and uh, something I didn't mention before now uh, The icons, yeah, 
there are icons here, author, names, uh, descriptions, uh, compatibility. Uh, all this information is available if the mod creator makes it available. So if you are making a full conversion mod, it would be, well, I would think it'd be really nice if you would add this extra support. Uh, you don't need to have it for it to work with this. As you can see, it found the main game. Uh, but if it isn't made to support this mod loader uh, specifically, uh, as you can see, it will say by anonymous, no description, and it will say undefined. It will still give you the name and allow you to launch it, uh, but it will not give you access to this extra information, and it will not give you access to a custom icon. But as you can see down here, this is just an example uh, testing that the uh, icon is working if you set your mod up to do so. Uh, so there will be a list of all the mods found in the directory you select, and you can just simply click launch a mod to start it up. So um, this will be it for me, uh, for the test mod that I have created. And after you click launch mod, it will start up the normal Amnesia launcher. Uh, actually, the <laughs> uh, there was one thing that I forgot. <laughs> I need to go in my library and actually remove the actually remove the uh, the manual one because when you uh, normally play a full conversion mod through uh, Steam, uh, you will have this launch option set here, uh, pointing to it, instead of using a bat file, because bat files don't work for Steam versions of the game. Um, however, if you have that argument added, uh, it will not actually work. I might be able to uh, pull out an update that automatically fixes that, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see. But if uh, that is the issue, you'll know how to fix that. Uh, once you remove that and you click launch, it should find the <laughs> correct mod and start up the normal Amnesia Launcher. So you can see that you can go through whatever options you want. I should probably put this resolution down to something that is appropriate. Uh, let's put it just to... Well, let's not do full screen, let's put it there. Start it up and I'll show you how it works. Or just how it looks, basically. And here we have an example mod that I have, which I'm not sure if you might have seen this um, menu screen before. Uh, anyways, so that's basically a full conversion mod running, and it's running perfectly fine and all that. Uh, just as if you were starting it with a bat launcher or any sort of other launcher uh, manually uh, through Steam options or whatever properties. Uh, although I think this mod loader is a lot easier and it's everything is in one place, so it's a lot easier to just start this thing up and select whatever mod you want to play and then play it. And when you want to install other mods, normally you would just simply plonk them down into the Amnesia directory. Uh, if it's an isolated full conversion mod, you'll put a single folder in here, which is preferred. Uh, if it's not isolated, you'll be putting it into, for example, entities and maps and all that, but I really don't recommend that mods, at least mods made today, are made like that. So uh, if your mod currently looks like that, uh, it'd be a lot better if you, um, if you made uh, it into an isolated full conversion mod, which there are uh, tutorials on the forums on how to do. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. So as you can see, the open mods folder will open the folder that you've defined in your preferences right here. And uh, then there's pretty much just launch and quit, and that's it. Uh, you can refresh if you ever change, for example, this folder. So if I set it up, I have a custom mods folder within my Amnesia directory, uh, because I, was li I like to keep things a little separate. Uh, so, uh, for example, if I select only that file, uh, it will not find the main game because the main game is not located in there. It's located in the uh, main config folder. So if I click refresh now, it will only find these two mods right here. Um, and if I go into the actual folder itself, you'll see that these two example mods are right here. So we have example 1 and then we have example 2. Or, yeah. And uh, this one is actually just... Uh, uh, it only has the required things that are needed in order to detect the mod. It won't actually run. So if I try to start up this one, um, which is incomplete, uh, I don't think it will actually work. Um, was this actually the wrong one? I think this was the wrong one. I'm not sure. Either way, uh, this is the modded mod. This is the tested mod. I guess they both actually do have... See, this is an icon which looks like that. The other one uh, does not have the icon, so yeah, it was the right one actually. But I guess it found the files in the main Amnesia directory, I'm not sure. Uh, basically, 
to make a if you're making a mod and you want to make it uh, work with the mod loader here uh, you can easily do that by just simply uh, adding two extra files to your config folder as you can see you have your main init cfg file here uh, which is in every con full conversion mod um, if you want to add support for this you can add an aml.cfg file uh, basically just another config file uh, it's very simple uh, it only contains some of the smallest information here basically the author uh, the icon file name uh, the description uh, as well as the minimum and maximum versions uh, the minimum version is basically what version of the game is required in order to play this game the maximum version could be if the game uh, recommends to not have a version above there so for example 1.2 is the amnesia justine patch 1.3 is the machine for pigs beta patch at the moment and uh, uh, it might be a little buggy, so if you set max version to be 1.2 as well, uh, basically it'll, it won't stop people from launching it in 1.3, but it will basically just tell them that uh, it's not recommended to start it up if you have that version installed. And then there's simply just a description, uh, the icon.png. Uh, it can be PNG, JPEG, or GIF. And then there's the author, which should really just be that. I was just testing around. And yeah, uh, once you have that file uh, right next to your main edit file, it will be associated with it in the mod loader. And then it will also find your uh, icon file, which is defined in it. And if it is found, uh, this one looks a bit strange, uh, but that was basically just because I was testing with it, because no matter what the resolution of your uh, icon is, it will be resized to 64 times 64 in the uh, mod loader. So this basically just is a, a transparent, or a, not transparent, but a, a circle ball with a transparent background. And that's it for the how you create the mods, if you are interested in doing that. Uh, anyways, uh, that, I guess, would be it. There's not that much to say about this. Uh, it did take me quite a while. I haven't done anything like this before, so I'm quite happy with the results. And if you want to test it out, I would love it if you give me some feedback on what you think about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I suppose that would be it. And uh, before I end the video, I really need to mention this because I really wanted to make a dedicated video for this, but I really just couldn't come up with anything. Uh, so I'm giving you this as my 1000 subscriber video. Um, I, I feel like it might be, it feels like a little, um, it feels a little lazy maybe to do it like this. Uh, I kind of wanted to do something very special. Maybe I'll do something special, depends. Um, something extra, but I'm just not sure, actually, what to do. Uh, but for now, uh, I just need to thank you, because uh, I have a thousand subscribers now, and uh, it's not really something that I expected to happen, or at least uh, now, because I feel like I am very late into this whole amnesia mod development sort of thing. Um, which you might know, because the game is fairly old by now, it's over four years, and maybe not that many people are interested in it anymore, so uh, it is cool to see that at least a thousand of you uh, found the interest of my videos, or whatever, um, and I'm really grateful about that, so I need, just need to thank you again uh, for 1,000 subscribers, and uh, I'll hope to continue doing whatever I do, and perhaps uh, jump over to Soma when they released that in 2015 or 16. I don't remember what it was, but we'll see. Anyways, I guess that would be it for this video. And as always, I will thank you for watching and I will see you later.